In this video, I am going to explain fully in English language about Hotel Ultra EV to adhere to our uh, English customer followers who complain that we do not uh, give them the right uh, uh, attention uh, uh, to explain in English language. Hotel Ultra EV is the latest uh, device from uh, Hotel uh, Intelligent. It's specialized uh, for uh, EV cars, for electrical vehicles. In addition to the normal Ultra, which is this device, Okay, it can scan the cars, diagnose, do full live data and uh, activation test and coding, programming, online programming. In addition to all of this functionality, EV is also uh, designed to test the uh, battery management system, uh, uh, including, you know, the uh, special VCI, special EV diag box that is ser serving battery management system. Uh, first of all, let me talk about the main component of this device, the uh, mega size screen 13.3 inch uh, uh, tablet with the uh, uh, Ultra VCI, which is both, you know, the, the normal VCI plus the oscilloscope functionality. It has a four BNC connectors uh, to do the oscilloscope functionality and also it can do wave generation. It has a battery built in in case you want to uh, test, not, not to take the power, not from the OBD uh, connector, but from uh, you want to test the, the oscilloscope functionality at the front of the car. So in this case, it has a battery uh, powered, okay, and you can test the oscilloscope signals. Let me also show you the uh, EV box. Here is the, this package also contain all the oscilloscope cables, uh, connectors that you need to test uh, the car, the normal diagnosis. It's like ultra, normal ultra. In addition to this, we have the EV box. The EV box has all the you know uh, cables that is for the battery management system. So using this uh, smart uh, EV diag box, okay, you could hook up. Uh, this uh, connector, okay, let me show it to you. You connect the main cable into this, okay, and then connect this one to the right uh, cable connector, uh, uh, depends on your uh, battery management system. Why, why, why we do have all these cables? We have many, many different battery management system. So, you know, using this uh, dedicated cable, you can test the state of health, the state of charge, the, you know, the uh, battery management system uh, uh, program inside each and every uh, module of battery management system. Let me go back to you and show you uh, the each and every uh, part of this uh, uh, Hotel Ultra EV. I'll show you here the, in the main screen, you have the ordinary uh, button, which is uh, diagnosis. Uh, first of all, this device can do auto vent detection. If I press on this, I say auto detect. If this device is uh, connected to the car, now it's, it will try to communicate to the car, but the car is not connected. If you see it start communicating to the VCI, it starts blinking. If it is connected to the car, okay, uh, it could, you know, check the uh, OBD uh, uh, modules, like, you know, ECM modules or whatever, and recognize the car chassis number, decode the chassis number, and identify which car uh, uh, we are connecting to. Like, you know, uh, if you don't want to, want to use the automatic uh, vent detection, you can go manually and select the car you want. Here is the American car. You do have Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Chevrolet, Tesla, Jeep, GM. You go to the European car. Actually, massive government uh, cover, sorry, from Hotel uh, Intelligent. We have uh, cover, we are, they are covering 90, 95% of the cars in the market. If you see here European cars, you could find Audi, BMW, uh, even the luxury cars like Ferrari, Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, you know, Bugatti, you go here, you can you can stop, the, boost the video and check the car or look for the car that you are interested in. Like, you know, the, here is the Maybach, Miserati, Land Rover, Viet, Porsche, Bijot. You scroll the screen at the right, you, you find Rose Rise, Renault, Seat. So most of the well-known cars, you know, Vag Group, Volkswagen, you know, Audi, Golf, you know, all this stuff. If you go to the Asian cars, under Asian cars, there is, you know, a Korean uh, cars and also Japanese cars. Let, let me show you some of them. Uh, here we show Hyundai, Honda, 
uh, you know, uh, Lexus, Kia, um, uh, Isuzu, Infinity, even the Indian cars, Mahindra and Tata is also shown up in under this device. You see here also Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, you know, uh, Samsung, Proton, Toyota. If you go here also, this is Genesis. If you if you hit in Chinese, also this device recently they have added a lot a lot of brands Chinese cars. You know Chinese cars is becoming popular now. Popular, sorry, and you know you find Byte car, Cherry, uh, uh, Jelly. You know a lot a lot of Great Wall. Um, let me just concentrate that this this device is for 12 volt cars and not for the heavy vehicles 24 volt. They do have another device called Maxis CV. To uh, work with uh, heavy duty cars and 24 volt cars. If you see here a lot of Chinese cars, which is even I do not know, you know, you can you can scroll and find a lot of a lot of Chinese cars. You know, LDV. Uh, even I do not know many of them. Um, Land when you can, you know, Joylong, Haifi. Some of them are not famous in our area. But you do have a lot, a lot of Chinese cars. I think they have added 70 brands. If I go back to the first page, I calculate every page. So 15 cars in every one. You have one, second, three, four, five, six, seven. You're talking about more than, you know, uh, uh, around uh, 70 and then around 100 uh, brand of these Chinese cars are covered by this device uh, let me go to the main screen here we can find also the services one of the important uh, uh, button in this device is the services where you can reset and do uh, a lot of functionality for the car let me run very fast through this one oil reset a lot of cars you know you uh, it will ask you to program the uh, schedule oil uh, exchange like every 3000 or every 4000 especially the american cars so oil reset is very important function it covers a lot a lot of cars you know if you see here the coverage is really again very very massive you know just i want to show you this one and then we will run through the uh, 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 remaining ones uh, uh, faster electrical parking brake programming Tire pressure monitoring system. It can reset also the tire pressure monitoring system. With auto also, you can add a very small and very uh, nice device, which is, uh, you know, like TBMS 508, either ITS 600. You know, uh, you can use this one to program the auto sensor, like this sensor. I'm talking about this sensor. But the TBMS module, which is inside the car, can be resetted and can be uh, 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 initialized by this device. Battery management system. A lot of cars, you know, you need to reset the battery. Sometime when you change the battery, also again, you need to do some initialization. This device can do. Brake bleeding. You can bleed the, uh, the brake fuel. After treatment, DBF, after you clean the DBF, you could hit up, hit in this uh, uh, DBF button and reset it to remove the alarm. Uh, immobilizer key. This device can reset the immobilizer and also can program the immobilizer. I'll show you there is a two button for immobilizer. Uh, it can do 50, 60 percent of the key uh, immobilizer function. But if you want a dedicated tool for uh, immobilizer, Otel has given you a, 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 a separate module, which is I am 608 and I am 508. I am 608, I am I'm 508. You can do a lot of key functionality, copy keys, all key loss. A copy remotes but you cannot do online programming so you know if you want to do online programming you should have this device hotel ultra if you want to have the key programming you should have the another range of the product here is the injector coding sas steering reset suspension reset language change a lot of cars you know allow you to change uh, switch from one language to another language Odometer, this function is not to degrade the, uh, the meter it's not to decrease the uh, you know meter reading but this one is to show you the meter reading in multi modules. Like it will read the ECM uh, odometer, it will read the TCM odometer, compare them together, and show you if there is a play, somebody change the odometer before. Seats. Sometimes the seats hangs. This device can reset the seats for you. Windows roof. Also, again, reset Windows roof is, uh, is available in this device. Throttle reset. After you clean your throttle, you want to reset and go to the basic value. You can, you can do it by this. The learning value can be resetted. 
a headlamp. You can also uh, reset and program the headlamp. Uh, see at tire size, you know, a lot of people, you know, uh, uh, change the tire uh, in some cars, you know, and e easily you can just change the tire size, like GM support this functionality. The car has to support this functionality, so this device can support. Some cars does not support this functionality. This is does not support uh, the car that is not, uh, you know, the module itself is not pre-programmed and the functionality is not 3D made in this device. Tick learning. Okay, it's very important function. ABS, SRS, reset, cylinder. I go here, VGT, learning, speed, speed and BTO, clutch. Tra trans you know, this is like transmission adaptation. You go road test and will show you the RBM, then the gear will change by, you know, by speed and by RBM. So it will ask you to go road test and to reset and to do adaptation. Ad again, adaptation, not only reset. Airbag reset. Only reset. I'm not talking about the crash data. Crash data is something else. You need a specific tool to do airbag reset. VIN number is very, very important function where you can write the chassis number inside the issue. Sometimes you are forced to change the engine control module from a second hand car or whatever. So you want to change the VIN number. You could change it by this, by this functionality. EGR. You can also do EGR reset from here. Electronic water bump start. And you know, automatic start to stop. Air fuel setting. You can also uh, play in the air fuel ratio. You know, uh, setting FR and reset. Transportation mode. When you shift the car from one location to another location, so you put transportation mode. Some suspension will stop and not shake the car. And uh, you know, during the travel. HV battery, high voltage battery. This is very important. Not only normal battery, but also high voltage battery can be resetted by this device. Acceleration. Uh, AC, a lot of car ACs need reset and need adaptation. You can do it by this device. Uh, here is the acceleration also again. Center console, display service history. Here is the reset control module. A lot of a lot of ECUs hang sometime, have some, you know, a uh, uh, reset value. You want to reset this uh, control unit, the main engine control module. You can do it by this device. Gateway module data calibration. You can calibrate the, uh, you know, the module, but this is not a lot of coverage. BMW and Mini has this functionality. Rain light sensor. A lot of time this rain light sensor hanging, you know, and giving wrong reading. You can easily reset it for a lot, a lot of cars. Let me go back and show you the rest of this reset function. Relative compression. Here, HV uh, de-energization and energization, okay? Coolant, fragrant change, you know? Here, sunroof initialization. The sunroof, the car sunroof. Resolver sensor calibration. Here is the camshaft learning. VIN odd meter check, okay? So let me go back here and show you uh, another functionality that's very important in this device. Here is the update. Here where you hit in here, you know, actually this device give you two years uh, free update, okay? And the yearly subscription from the uh, manufacturer is around 1,395 US dollar. As a dealer, we do it around 1,000 dollar. Okay, you need to check with us from time to time. There is some offers also going on. Uh, if you see here this device today, you know, we are uh, in 4th April 2024. Uh, you can see here it's going up until December 2026. So you have around two years and 10 months. Why? Because Hotel has run an uh, offer from uh, last October till December and the device activated. It will get three years. So we utilize this offer. We still have some stocks, but normally Hotel give you two years free update uh, at, uh, at this moment. So in here you can uh, do all the update. If any software, you know, a new release, uh, a new car is added to this device or a new model also uh, they will throw the update and you can get it you are eligible to get the update uh, uh, during the two years uh, update uh, i'll show you here is the uh, health uh, evaluation state of health here you can uh, as i told you the battery management system you can check the car but now you know we are not connected to the system otherwise it will show you also the state of health uh, HV back test, you know, the, the battery back, the high voltage battery back, you want to test the high voltage battery back, and you want to see uh, the, the uh, full battery back uh, uh, module, you can test it by this one, uh, and here is the EV, the, uh, the new uh, electrical vehicles, the coverage is again massive, all the, um, mainly all the manufacturers, you know, like Audi EV, you know, Ford EV, GM EV, Tesla EV, 
this device can also diagnose and do a lot of functionality with Tesla and we have also a separate cable kit for Tesla you know Mercedes-Benz EV you know um, BMW EV a lot of EV cars you know European cars American cars uh, Chinese cars a lot of EV cars mini a uh, man a uh, Renault you know um, uh, Lamborghini even a lot of EV cars is in the market now and this is I can say the best and the most coverage uh, device in the market to check the uh, comprehensive EV uh, diagnosis, campus diagnosis and the plus battery management system diagnosis and all related battery, uh, you know, uh, 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 testing and, you know, analyzing, uh, analyzing. Let me show you here, Jilly, the Chinese car is there, by uh, very uh, famous and powerful, you know, uh, 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 manufacturer, Toyota EV, Nissan EV, Mitsubishi EV, Renault EV. You can stop the, the screen and, and, you know, see the really uh, big coverage from this uh, uh, device. Shenzhen Auto, uh, you know, uh, MG, Photon, you know, a lot of, a lot of, really, a lot of, a lot of manufacturers uh, is doing now EV cars and this device can make your life easier and can help you to diagnose and see what are the exact issue and the exact problem inside this electrical vehicle uh, cars. Um, let me go s slowly, I believe, just to st you can stop the, 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 the screen and see the, which the coverage, you know. Let me go back here, you can see the fan, uh, Titan, Luxon, a lot of Chinese cars also, I, I, I really am not aware of it. You know, here is also Zikar, LDV, Maxus, Biak Motor, you know, it's famous. You can see here also, Bolistar. You can stop the screen to see uh, your uh, the car you are looking for is covered by this. Hotel is really very respected and, you know, a uh, uh, good company. They uh, keep uh, modifying the list. They keep adding things in this device. So, you know, it's worth the money you are paying for. Uh, let me go back here and show you also, you know, HV component test. So here where you can test also the DC to DC test, co compressor test, you know, uh, uh, OBC test. So you can you can do a lot of uh, high voltage component uh, test of this electrical vehicle cars. I'll scroll the, the uh, before that I'll show you this function also ADAS. This device is capable also to do advanced driver assistance system calibration like land discipline, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, night vision cameras, uh, uh, blind spot, you know, um, the rear cameras, uh, the uh, six, uh, I mean, around vehicle monitoring system. It can do a lot of, a lot of calibration, actually, you know, uh, uh, cruise control uh, system adaptation and the reset function. It can be done by this. You need to buy an extra uh, subscription for to do the ADAS and you need to buy the reflectors and also the uh, uh, belong devices like you know radar continental uh, you know uh, uh, calibration uh, items uh, corner reflector a lot of functionality I can I can show you in separate uh, uh, demonstration and uh, if I take the screen again to the right I can find the first uh, button is the measurement here I told you uh, at the beginning of this uh, video there is a lot of uh, functionality for you know uh, it will act like multimeter you can check voltage you can check current you can check you know uh, uh, um, uh, resistance whatever you want you know but we are not connected to the car now but this is you know it's an easy functionality also it will give you a lot of uh, uh, possibility to do uh, some tests okay let me go back here and show you also oscilloscope function here is the oscilloscope function you know this oscilloscope functionality it will uh, draw the signal out of some components like final elements or you know inputs or you know uh, the the uh, 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 I, I can show you yeah let me go back and see yes I want to show them some of this uh, functionality that can be done by this device. Uh, searching for device. Again, you know, you should be connected to the car. I just want to show you. Yeah, here. You know, I want to show you. Uh, uh, actuators. You can test actuators like air conditioning blower, for example. Cooling fan. 
If I select this one, you know, cooling fan, variable speed cooling fan, you can test it, you can test the current going to it, voltage, and then, you know, check if this is working correctly or not. Injectors, you know, second, second, all, all the uh, actuators, most of the actuators, throttle, thermostat, solenoid valve, you know, battery charging, how the battery, the alternator work, you know, you can check the alternator, it is charging the battery, not charging the battery, what is the current, all this stuff. Uh, com combination test, acceleration pedal, position, Vice if you're a real pressure. So you are pressing the acceleration pedal and you see uh, the fuel real pressure is increasing or not. So, you know, data communication, CAM bus communication. Sometimes you have a problem in testing <coughs> the CAM bus. So you can do it by this uh, um, intelligent device, engine starting, uh, ignition system, sensors. You can test also the sensor. ABS sensor, acceleration, pedal position sensor, camshaft. And if you go, for example, to ABS sensor or acceleration, acceleration pedal sensor, you know, it will show you uh, the guide also. You know, each and every functionality that I explained here, it will show you the general description. The purpose of this test is to measure si uh, signal voltage of two sig uh, signal line of inductive ABB sensor. Connection. It will also help you to select the uh, connection. Let me turn on the light and show you. Like here, you know, here it will show you the back uh, test kit. Yes, back, back, binning prop SA0051. And let me show you here. I'll show you the, yeah, here. It will show you what, which connector you need to use and which uh, adapter you, you have to use. And then see large dolphin clip back. And here it will again show you how you connect, you know, like, you know, see, it will show you the cables that you have to connect. You can also maximize the, the photo and it will show you also how, how to test. This is the pedal. Where exactly to, to test the pedal? Okay. Here, like, for example, in the pedal, you have to connect to the red color and to the uh, green color, uh, the lid. And then here also from the other side. So it will show you each and every things. Like physically also, it will show you how to connect them. It will guide you. And it will also, you know, example. It will show you the example of this one. A reference signal can be also shown by this device. Also here, it will show you the related DTC. Like if you have B0120, that means the th throttle pedal position sensor switch A. Like, you know, it will show you exact, the exact problem of this. Let me show you here, uh, go back into the main screen and show you the another very good functionality, which is waveform generator. You know, sometimes you can give, a, a, you know, active test from this device to the cooling fan for example okay i want to check the cooling fan i can give a signal to this cooling fan suppose there is a cut fuse in, in between or cable in between i want to test it without having the command going from the module itself i can from the oscilloscope functionality i can give signal for this one i can generate the wave okay you have the functionality to to give the rectangular wave uh, you know triangular wave and give it to the final element and see if this device works properly or not okay let me go back and show you here um another very nice functionality which is obd bus inspection for the the, the uh electricians who who inspect the uh, cam bus communication and the obd connectors you can easily buy this device you know uh it will show you actually the six scan high bus bins, where to connect, where to, we are not connected to this one, but we'll show you, you know, how to, how to connect. And it will show you also the waveform out of this one. Can H6, can LAN, you know, uh, amplitude, everything will be shown by uh, this device. I'm not sure if there is a demonstration button in this device, just to show you some uh, typical example, you know? Yeah, demonstration, yes. Like, you know, let me show you how we are connecting in the car. Uh, here is the automatic selection. You can maybe select Volkswagen. You have to say accept. Then you can put the order number. This is up to you. Uh, if you want to use this functionality, stand alone. I will say just work as a standalone device. Uh, this is for the people who has also, you know, many, many branches. And you can put also the work order number and everything. Uh, here you can read. This is automatically will read the chassis number. You say, okay, it's acting like I am connecting in the car now. Here you, you can say, okay, you can confirm, like, you know, it will show you this vehicle year 2023, uh, model type sedan motors. You say here, okay. And then the current vehicle support, the DOIBO protocol, you can use the DOIBO protocol for testing. Again, this, this 
connector, you know, support a lot of a lot of uh, uh, automotive uh, protocols like DOI protocol, CAN FD protocol for GM2223, you know, uh, J2345 uh, programming protocol, ISO protocol, many protocols actually, many protocols can be covered by this maxi flash. Otel is really innovative and uh, up to the date with this uh, protocols and can support, you know, the uh, uh, latest communication protocol. It will act like this. It will establish the communication between this device and the car and start, you know, interrogating the modules. Like it will go to the ECM module, uh, uh, interrogate it and get the uh, uh, error codes, uh, live data, everything. In between, before we go to the screen, it, it is showing us that it is also unlocking the SDF uh, 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 protocol for this Volkswagen group. Here, it will show you the topology. This is called topology. Topology, why? Because it is like, you know, tree. You know, it will show you the gateway module. And every line from this, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, tree is connected to the uh, specific uh, modules. Here is the color coding, you know, like this is BT can, D can. I can, AFS can, S can. So you, you know that if this, if this, for example, gateway module broken, this signal is broken, you will find all these devices not responding to you. So you, you recognize that this cable maybe is cutted, okay, or short or open circuit, you know. Uh, here, in another, another tree which is connected to the, yeah, AFS can. So a lot of modules is connected to here. That is, not ordinary testing. The, the, the previous models could use this list, you know, it will show you the list, but you don't know which module is, uh, uh, you know, attached to each other. In this topology, you know that these modules are, you know, like CEM, SVB, you know, ESCL is connected together, okay? So, if I say fault scan, it will start scanning the faults. And also, it will show you color coded. Like, you know, this brown color is fault, you know, sorry, if I, my hand should not cover this one, fault. Uh, green color is best that means there's no issues not scanned means the device did not scan this mo uh, module or not maybe not supported uh, not response you know that mean we the device uh, tried to communicate to this device but there is no response out of this device like for example this one there is no response out of this device here there is fault and it will show you also one the number of faults inside uh, this module three will show you that there is a three Again, yeah, three error codes inside this module. Here, four. Like, you know, every one of them. Like, if I go here, inside this module, I can, let me go inside, inside ECM. ECM, okay? I go, I go inside and just show you, uh, each and every system can be interrogated. Like, you know, ECU information. Here is the issue information. It will show you also the issue protocol, uh, the uh, uh, model number of this issue, trouble codes. What are the codes inside this engine control module? It will also establish the communication and read the error code module inside the ECM engine control module. Implausible um, um, uh, front camera for driver assistance system. It is giving you know an error code U122900. Here, live data. Live data means it will show you the uh, life uh, values of this device. Device unable to communicate with the control unit. Uh, yeah. This is demonstration software. It should it should show actually. Yeah, it is showing. Oh, I don't know why it is giving this. It should have given uh, the uh, live data. Let me just try another module. Wait a second. It's, it's, a, it's a demonstration software. I'm not sure there is some problems in this. Active test. Active test is the command, you know, force output. I am forcing some output value to, uh, you know, to, to, to make it on. In, in reality, there will be a lot of, a lot of value that can, I can, you know, force and, and see if it is working or not. Output of variable test, uh, via radio, you can start, you can, you can, you can make it on and you can start and you can stop, you know, uh, this fun, uh, this, uh, active test. Adaptation. A lot of functions. This is simulation software. I could uh, take this device and go to the car and show you the exact, uh, um, you know, functionality and reality in the car. So this is was a very, uh, you know, simple demonstration about this device to show you the capabilities, to show you the uh, advanced uh, things in this uh, device. Um, uh, let me show you here the also the intelligent diagnosis, repair assist. 
some of this functionality have been taken also from uh, Otter recently, okay? But uh, mainly, uh, this device is really very intelligent and can help you a lot with the uh, newest model. Thank you a lot for watching us.